Look at that intro. We got hammers banging and random stuff. We got lava. Oh. <laughs> Happy holidays, guys. Two guys teach industrial design, JVP here. We're gonna start off today with showing you guys one of our side projects. And it covers different ways to go about presenting your work. We're also be covering common positions that you can score with these same skills. So sit back, relax, grab a cigar, light it. Puff, puff, pass it, and let's get to it. That was pretty cool, right? <laughs> we get bored with slideshows, so this alternative should help keep people interested and curious for more. The software used to make this was Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, Premiere, Alias, and V-Red. So literally the main hard hitters for uh, transportation design. <laughs> if you guys are interested in how we did this, leave a comment and we'll gladly make a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create the madness and include some source files too. Onward, four common positions industrial designers aim for. Number one, designer. We all saw this one coming. Designers are essential to the team. They focus on vibe and experience. This is not an easy job because you constantly have to go back and forth with the engineers and most of the time, your vision is cut short or it isn't fully realized. This is just the way it is at established companies. We are trained to not get attached to our work for this exact reason. Number two, modeler. This can be physical or digital. The job pays more than designers and rightly so. These guys make the vision take form and have the responsibility of adding their sense of proportion and line tension in their respective areas. We are modelers because we, well, because having the skill to create 3D from 2D is totally badass and also pays more next. Number three, storyboarder. Designers take on this job a lot. This job is equally important. You research your target market and it's your job to create a story that is true to it. It also has to allow for a product to enhance their lifestyles in some form or fashion. This one could be really cool or boring, depending on what company you work for and how well of a storyteller you are. One of my buddies worked at BMW and took a few business trips to fill out and really get inside the mind of the target market. Of course, he bragged about all the locations he had to go to. I'm not gonna lie. This one's pretty badass too. Next, number four, UX and UI. User experience and user interface. These are two separate beasts. User experience focuses exactly on what the title states and it gets deeper too. The process can be similar to storyboarding, but there's a physical creation aspect to this one. User experience is like the video at the start of this video. Simply put, is how the user interacts with the product. It can go from creating uh, menus and animations for them to lights, welcome screens, and menu sounds for cars. This one is a lot of fun for me because I love animating. Professionally, I haven't had much paid experience with these guys, but I advise learning After Effects, V-Red, and Alias if you're interested. I heard some questions in the background, and I have to say yes. It is possible for there to be some kind of hybrid fusion of these jobs if you have the skills for them. <laughs> Think of it as being similar to playing jazz. Tag in when and where you're needed. Huh, that's it. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask. We love sharing information. This is two guys teaching industrial design. Not to be confused with. Huh? We love what we do. And hey. We're all in this together. Peace.